Yo, what is up, YouTube fam? It's your girl, Jazz the Artist here. I'm going to be showing you how to do multiple editions, sell multiple copies of your artwork on OpenSea. It is not the most streamlined process, so definitely requires some type of in instruction in order to figure it out because it's just kind of weird right now. And I think it's been like that for a while, but hopefully they have plans on updating it. So if you want to add a um, an item to one of your OpenSea collections, you simply just go inside of your collection. You can click on your icon at the top, My Collections. If you have multiple ones set up, doesn't matter. Uh, just pick the one that you want to go ahead and upload your artwork into that you want to create the, the multiple editions for. You're going to click Add Item at the top of the screen. And this is where before you add the image, before you type in the name and the rest of this stuff, you're going to need to append something to the very end of this URL. And I'm going to show you why, because if you just keep it like this and you scroll down to the bottom, you'll see under supply, which is where you indicate how many quantities of this particular artwork you want to sell. It is grayed out. It says one there and it will not allow you to change it. So what you have to do is, again, you're going to have to append something to the very end of this URL up here. What you're going to have to type here is enable. Matter of fact, it's right there. Question mark, enable, underscore, supply, equals, true. And I'll have that in the description for you to just copy it uh, and paste it right there at the end of that URL. So question mark, enable, underscore, supply, equal, true. And then go ahead and hit enter. Now, if I scroll down back to that quantity field or that supply field, notice I can change the number to however many I want to sell. If you want to sell five of them, if you want to sell 10 of the additions, totally fine. Now you can put your number in. I always say do this first because I can't tell you how many times I've come in here, uploaded my picture, typed my name, uh, my description. I start putting my traits in here. I get to supply and like, dang, I forgot to do that. I'll do it up here and then it will reset all of this and you have to do it again. So always make sure the first thing that you do, if you know you're doing multiple additions, go ahead and put that those additional characters, those additional words in the at the end of the URL. Now you can go through and you can add all of your things. I'm just gonna add something erroneous up in here that I'm gonna end up taking out. Um, not really gonna care, I'm not gonna mint this, so I'm just, I'm just gonna throw some things in here just so we can get through it. But make sure that you fill in all of these things with whatever you need, name, description, if you're doing a, um, some traits and all of that stuff, fill that in. So let's say I wanna do just maybe three of these. <clears throat> I'll put in that supply, I'll go ahead and hit create. And it went ahead and created it. It's going to drop me right into here. Now, this is the next piece that you need to do. If you want to sell, you can hit the sell up here or you can hit the sell down here. It doesn't really matter. It's going to ask you the quantity. This is not where you put three in. You have to do each one of these separately. So I'm actually going to be coming to the screen after I do this two more times. It's going to tell me I have three of these available. If I were to turn this to three, that means the person is going to buy this set of three. They do not have the ability to buy just one of these. So you do not want to put the full quantity here. I only want to do one. Again, I'm going to have to come and do this again and then another time for each of these three different editions. So for here, I'm just going to do one. Go ahead and put in your amount that you want to sell it for, um, whatever you want that to be. We'll just throw something in there. It'll tell you what the amount is in USD, um, how long you want to actually keep it out there for sale. Totally up to you. <clears throat> you got some more options. Can you want to sell it as a bundle? Uh, I would not recommend selling it as a bundle. I'm not sure why you would want to bundle like two or three of the same artworks together, but you have those options if you need to. You're going to go ahead and come down here and complete the listing. This is where it's going to initialize your wallet. It's going to ask you to sign it and do all of that stuff. Confirming 4-5 ETH. I'm going to go ahead <coughs> and just hit sign. All right, now it's listed for sale, but that's just one of them. So now that it's listed for sale here, if I come down here under listings, I see I am selling one for 0 0.05 ETH. I then need to go ahead, hit sell again. This is where I'm going to go ahead and sell my next one. Um, it's always going to tell me I have three available because they have not sold yet. I'll go ahead, go through, put in my amounts again that I want, all of that good stuff. Go ahead and complete listing. 
I'm not going to go ahead and do this one, but you kind of get the gist. You will see it down here. And then again, you want to hit it again. In this particular case, I'm selling three, so I would have to do it three times. Just keep that in mind. If you're selling 10 of them, you're going to have to do this 10 times. If you're selling a hundred of something, you're going to have to do this step a hundred times in order for all of them to be listed so that a person has the ability to buy, uh, different individuals have the ability to buy uh, the multiple editions. Now, if you want to cancel anything, do be aware that canceling your listings is going to cost you gas. So if you put 10 additions out here and maybe you decide, I don't want to use OpenSea no more. I want to move these to railroad or cargo. You have to come in here and you have to cancel each one of those additions. You're canceling 10 of them and there's going to be gas associated with each one of those. So you'll be paying gas 10 times. Uh, think about that if you're doing 20 or 100. Just keep that in mind. I'm going to go ahead and hit cancel. You notice right here, it's it's going to freaking charge me $40 in order to cancel this. I have to cancel it because I didn't actually want to put this up there. But for the sake of the tutorial, it's my mistake. You guys don't make it. Um, I'm going to go ahead. Oh, gas just changed to 36 while I was just sitting there. That's wonderful. <clears throat> so I'm going to let that go ahead and do its thing. Once this cancels, um, it will no longer. It does take a while, we'll tell you, when you cancel something for the artwork not to show up. <clears throat> It may take a little moment. Like if I come back, check this collection. Yeah, it's still going to be sitting there for a little bit. But now you can see that it's actually my listing was canceled successfully. <clears throat> After you have canceled something, you do need to go inside of it now. Now that it's no longer on sale, go into edit, come all the way down to the bottom and hit delete item. And then deleting it will take it a couple of minutes to reflect but after it's kind of done doing its thing you should be able to come back after a while and you'll notice that it's not here so there's two steps if you're deciding to cancel something um, you're going to need to take it off for sale pay the gas then go into edit and then delete it and then that will allow it to come out of your collection hopefully this video has been helpful for you guys on how to make multiple uh additions multiple copies of your artwork on open again check the description for that um little statement or additional words that you need to append to your url you can just copy and paste it from there whenever you're doing your additions hope you guys have a good day be nice be kind i'm out i'll catch you on the next one